science you can do right at home. I'm just looking at the San Andreas Fault and going over, you know, today's science pop. Today's science pop. How can an earthquake shorten an Earth day? Well, that is a great question, and I'm gonna answer it quake. <laughs> you get it? Okay, let's try this. You will need a square piece of styrofoam. Okay, you're gonna get yourself. in half. You want to see them get back together? <laughs> okay, you're gonna place your hands on the styrofoam like this. Not like this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Like this. Okay, now you're gonna move your hands in opposite directions like this. Well, I'm, you know, well, you know, on the styrofoam, because you, you don't do it on the styrofoam, <laughs> you look like this. <laughs> okay, here we go, earthquake and three, two, one! Okay, so snap and style, snap and style. Okay, so snap and style. And style. So, snap and styrofoam is pretty cool, but what does snap and styrofoam have to do with how earthquakes happen in the earth? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Oh, aftershock! The earth is made up of crustal plates, and these plates are always in motion. The lines where plates have broken apart are called fault lines, like the San Andreas Fault in Southern California which separates the Pacific and the North American plates. When two plates come together, pull apart, slide against, or over each other, the rocks stick a little and these rocks catch on each other. The rocks continue to have force applied to them, but don't move. Eventually, the rocks break or fault slip, releasing the pressure that built up. This spot where the rocks break or the fault slips is called the focus. That sudden release of energy causes seismic waves to radiate away from the focus, which causes an earthquake. Earthquakes can cause the Earth to pick up momentum or even change the Earth's axis, which can shorten the Earth's day. When two plates store up enough energy and then release a massive amount of energy in just one area of the Earth, it causes the Earth to jerk to one side, which changes the Earth's axis. Also, when one plate causes another plate to suddenly be forced down towards the center of the Earth rapidly, it pushes on the magma, giving it momentum, which causes the Earth's spin to speed up. Woo! Oh! Oh, what a ride! Ha <laughs> ha! So, now you know how earthquakes can shorten our day. You know, snapping styrofoam instead of being in an earthquake is why science it's so cool!